Okay, this is the start of a Python series on pulling FINRA RegShow dark pool data for individual stocks, building a screener, and doing some back testing of the data. Um, why do we want to do this? A couple reasons. One, I don't have a real good place to pull this data and analyze it. Um, there used to be a website. I think it was volumebot.com that used to have like the moving averages of individual stocks, which ones had the highest moving average dark pool volume. Um, that doesn't exist anymore. There is this trading volatility.net that does have data and it is free. Um, it does have quite a few tickers, which is very, which is useful. But I also want to run some back tests, so yeah. And this doesn't have every ticker, so that's another thing. Um, the other reason is I want to be able to make percentiles similar to how he did. Normalized would be like a percentile. And the reason I want to do percentiles is because every symbol has like a its own kind of baseline for dark pools. Like Tesla is, is quite a bit higher than most stocks, for instance. And the other reason for the moving average is Tesla is a great example of this. This data can be quite noisy. Tesla, for instance, loves to either print very high or very low um, and not a lot of in between, which is very strange. So we need to smooth this data out with a moving average similar to how, you know, I did, this is a moving average, but you know, perhaps we need on Tesla, maybe a longer one would be better. I don't know. We're going to do testing and find all this out, hopefully. Um, that's the reason. Um, now some back tests that I have seen, of course, the squeeze metrics white paper mostly talks about the S and P S and P 500 composite index, which is quite useful. And I do use this, uh, I big fan of it. In fact, um, so definitely read through that if you haven't, um, Another back test that I've seen recently, Spot Gamma did one on just one stock. Um, but basically, when you have a five day moving average over 45, forward returns are more positive than average returns. Um, but this is just for one stock. Um, I'd like to do it for many stocks, if not all stocks. Um, yeah. And, get a little bit more advanced possibly. This was another really good and probably the best one for individual stocks is Quiver Quantitative, Quiver Quantitative who puts out a lot of really interesting stuff. Um, he also has a dashboard for, I think, paying customers. Spot Gamma has a dark pool dashboard for paying customers. But, you know, if we can build this out and not have to pay anybody, well, we'd rather do that because <laughs> we're cheap asses, right? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put all the notebooks that I use to build this out um, on a GitHub page. Right here is the link. And I'll post that in the YouTube description as well, if I remember, which uh, somebody will remind me if I don't. Um, yeah, so here's all the files and stuff. Um, I use Anaconda and Jupyter Notebooks. So you don't have to use Anaconda, but Jupyter Notebooks you will probably have to use. There is some other notebooks that you can use, but Jupyter is by far the most common. Um, yeah, so that's just gonna be kind of the introduction. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, in the next video, we'll actually scrape the data and get started.